Yeah, I, I wanted to know for myself too. I didn't even know there were different kinds of boundaries, so. Yes, yes, the first type is no boundaries. Uh, it means that a uh, person does not have any boundaries, that's simple. And if you don't have any boundaries, then your friends, your coworkers, your family members will exploit you. And for example, you will be the one who stays at work at night to finish a report. You will be the one who uh, will be the best friend because you're gonna organize uh, the party. You will, you're gonna take care of everybody. You will be the best son or the best daughter because uh, you are willing to drop everything and come to help his parents. So no boundaries basically mean uh, that uh, in 99% of all situations, you cannot say no. And people will exploit you, unfortunately, uh, because you cannot say no. And manipulative people, uh, narcissists, uh, selfish people, they are looking for people with no boundaries. And they will use their internal radar to find you because this is <laughs> this is what they want they want they to just have a sonar going off in their head and they're just like bam that's you yes yes so yeah. the second type of boundaries is um, opposite uh impermeable boundaries and uh, uh, these are um, boundaries that are not flexible at all so people with impermeable boundaries almost never say yes and usually those people don't have friends they don't like uh, to work on a team and they don't like family and friends gatherings. And other people might think that uh, these people uh, are rude and selfish, but unfortunately, those people are lonely because they don't have anybody and they are not rude. Uh, they just have been hurt before. So they cannot trust people. They don't know how to trust another person. And um, a very good example of a person with impermeable boundaries is shown in the movie uh, Yes Man. Yeah. yeah, and the character Carl, uh, who is played by Jim Carrey, he always say no at the beginning of the movie. And then in the movie, he's learning how to say yes to everything. And unfortunately, when we say yes to everything, it is as bad as when we say no to everything. Right. So the question that you might have is like, what other type of boundaries are healthy? And the third type of boundaries, which are your healthy boundaries, um, is flexible boundaries. And it means that a person uh, can say either yes or no, and it's going to depend on the situation. It's going to depend uh, on the person. And the most importantly, it's going to depend on the outcome that you want to receive. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm sure that most uh, people uh, can say like, of course, I can say yes and no, of course I have flexible boundaries, but in reality, there are only small percentage of people who have healthy boundaries. And right. usually people sacrifice their own interest, their time, they sacrifice their wishes, uh, their goals, because they don't want to hurt another person, or maybe they don't want to argue with their spouse or they don't know what to do when kids gonna cry so that's why we people like you know every one of us like to sacrifice something just because we don't know how else we can react and um flexible boundaries is the boundaries when you create different boundaries with different people this is the most important uh, thing probably to understand that you can have different boundaries with different people and for example with your spouse uh you should have transparent boundaries less boundaries because you want to be vulnerable you want to trust the person you want to show your emotions this way you can create like close profound meaningful relationships but uh, when it comes to kids for example and if uh, kids misbehave then you should switch on to impermeable boundaries because uh, with kids, when they misbehave, you should tell them and you should teach them that there is a rules in the house and uh, they should follow those rules. And this way, they will know what do you expect from them. So right. permeable boundaries are not always bad. Sometimes they can help you like to organize, to have structure in your relationships, in your family. And of course, when you talk to your kids about their feelings, their emotions, here you don't need impermeable boundaries opposite 
You have to be open, you have to talk to them, you have to let them to be vulnerable. 